Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Sunday cook with me. We're a little later than normal today because we had a five o'clock wake up call with the phones all going off and weather alerts for tornado watches, severe thunderstorms, hail, all kinds of goodies for a Sunday morning. <laughs> and fortunately, we did have some very heavy downpours uh, and it was windy during the downpours, a lot of lightning. Uh, Florida is the lightning capital of the world, I believe, and it showed its colors today. But no damage. Uh, one trash can tipped over, and that's about it. I don't think we actually accumulated a whole lot of rain. It was just wild and woolly for a little bit. So I'm a little bit late getting this going today. Did not feel like playing on the computer during this time. So what we're going to make today is a Hawaiian pie. If you remember last week's video, we made a Hawaiian pasta salad with ham and pineapple. So if we're going to be in Hawaii, we might as well make dessert, don't you think? Now I made this once before. This is a redo because the time I made it before I didn't have quite the right ingredients and I just want to show you how easy this is to make. This is a no-brainer. If you've never cooked a day in your life, you can make this easy. Now you have to promise me one thing, that you will sit and stare at the TV or the computer and do not blink. Because if you blink, you're going to miss it. That's how quick it comes together. So let me take you down to the counter and I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to make a delicious Hawaiian pie. Be right back. Okay, these are the ingredients you're going to need. You need a graham cracker crust, a 5.1 ounce package of the instant vanilla pudding. It says family size, okay? So you know it's not the regular little package, it's the bigger one. An 8 ounce container of sour cream and a can of crushed pineapple in heavy syrup. And that's the secret. You'd have to have it in heavy syrup. And folks, that's it. That's all there is to it. So we're going to start by putting this pineapple in the bowl. If I can get my fingers under there to open it. Here we are. Maybe I can get it out of there. And I'm not draining it. It's everything, all of it together. It just does not want to cooperate. There you go. There we go. Oops, sorry. A little music. And to that, I'm going to add the 8 ounce container of sour cream. after I spill it all over the counter. Let's just get those two mixed together. And now I'm going to add the pudding. Now 
Now this does have to chill, but it really only has to chill for about an hour or so because the pudding will firm up very easily. And there you go, folks. That's it. Couldn't get much easier. And now we'll get it in the pie shell. Now when this is done, you can garnish it with a, a, a lot of different things. Um, I usually put whipped cream, and I use the squirt can whipped cream, and then make, you know, a little pretty design. But you could put a Cool Whip if you wanted to just cover the whole top. And how about some toasted coconut on the top? And a maraschino cherry. How pretty is that? Now, got a little bit more in here. I won't be able to get a taste test after it's been in the refrigerator because it'll be too late. So let me give you some of this. Mm. That is so good and it's so easy. There's just nothing to it. There's nothing to it. You need to do it. called Hawaiian Pie. So I will put a picture on my community tab at, when I serve it so you can see it garnished up pretty. But in the meantime, now did you know when you have these plastic pieces, if you turn it upside down, that's now a cover for your pie? I don't know what some people may not know that. So it's it's good to have. I don't have all the foil pushed back, so it's difficult putting it on. But I will. But I think I'll take this off first. Here we are. So it's great. You can make this and transport it to a cookout, and everybody will enjoy. So that's my video. I hope you didn't blink. It's such an easy, easy peasy and delicious. So I'll see you again next week for another craft day. And until then, I hope everybody stays safe. I know everybody's, a lot of people have been having some wild weather lately. Well, we got our share today. They were chasing tornado across to the east. So... I'm glad it didn't form until after it got east of us. But anyway, have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Make this pie and have a yummy dessert. You can have this dessert tonight for dinner. I'm going to. 
So until I see you again, I will bring you up and say, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and until I see you for the craft day, everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.